Mr. Flintstone I can make your bed ride Hey, what's up, guys? Me, Angel, also known on YouTube as Stunner2150. Um, this is a dedication video to uh, my cousin Francesca. She wanted to know how do you take uh, an image and put two people t closer together. Um, so um, I'll just show you guys. <coughs> oh, excuse me. What I'm talking about. So here's a picture of my friend Rob and um, my other friend Deborah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Deborah and put her closer to Rob, okay? And this is what we're going to have after we're done. Something like that. So let's get started. What we're first going to do is control J like we do with every every time on a Photoshop tutorial because you never want to work on your background layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our lasso tool and we're going to select Deborah. Okay? So what we're going to do with Deborah is I'm going to start cutting her out. Now I'm going to do this really quick. Okay, and just select da da. Now I'm doing this really fast for uh video sake, uh because I only have ten minutes to make this video. Obviously you're gonna take I wanna take a lot more time. Now Let's just let me just show you something. Let's say for some reason you can't get the whole image at one time like I'm doing right now. What you're going to do is you're just going to bring it to where you started and it's going to make the selection. Now most people don't know that you can actually continue making the selection after this. What you're just going to do is you're going to press and hold shift and under the last tool you'll see a positive sign. So what you're going to do is you're going to continue tracing what you were doing and then you can just bring it back okay now another thing is let's say you're making the cutout and you add that part by mistake okay and you don't want that piece in there what you're gonna do is press and hold alt okay and it's gonna give you a minus sign under the uh, lasso tool so what you're then gonna do is you're gonna outline the part that you don't want let go and it'll deselect that okay so let's continue. Press and hold shift. I'm going to outline Debbie. Okay, now keep in mind I'm doing this really fast for video sakes. You're going to want to take a lot, lot more time on this to make it more realistic. Um, give me one second here. And we're done. All right. Now, also, you're gonna want to mess with the uh, feathering. Um, this, since this is an extremely small sized picture, I'm using one pixel. The bigger the pixel um, size of your image, the more pixel feathering you're gonna want to do. So once we have Deborah selected, we're gonna press and hold Control, then press C to copy. Boom, copy. Then press down Control and then V to paste. Now, as you can see, a new layer appeared, and you can see in that little thing is Debbie. Okay, so let's name this thing Deb's Cut Out. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to come here or press V and then we're going to go to Debbie and we're going to drag her over to Rob. Okay, now, like I said, you're going to want to take a lot more time so that the cutout looks more realistic. Now, as you guys can see, if you haven't already noticed, Robbie's hand is underneath Deb and it should be over it. So let's fix this. Okay. Let's move Debbie back. Which we'll press V and move her back a little. Alright. Now we're gonna go to layer one. We're gonna press the lasso tool. And we're just going to do the same thing we did to Deb to Rob's hand. Okay. Boom boom. Whoosh, doo doosh, doosh. Well, it sounded like I said douche. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Alright, and it'll give us a new layer. Now let's name that layer Rob's Hand. Okay. 
Now control zero to come to the complete image. Press that or V. Let's drag Debbie. Oops. Click on Deb's cutout and bring it to Robbie. Now as you can see, Rob's hand is still underneath Debbie. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to Rob's hand's layer and put it above Deborah's layer or the other way around. And you'll see that his hand will come up. Now, now that we have them together, you're going to want to press the I forgot what this one's called. Um rectangular marquee tool and let's crop this image right here select it okay image crop and voila that's it that it's as simple as that now if you guys are wondering well I have two separate um, photos and I wanna put one person from one of the photos and another photo with that person so let's do that let's say that this image Let's just do this so it doesn't confuse you guys. Okay. Let's go to this image. Okay, let's take Rob's head. Rob's big Shrek looking head. Robbie, I love you, so don't get mad at <laughs> for me making fun of you. Uh alright. Control C to copy. Let's go back to this picture. Control V to paste. And you'll see Rob's head appears. And do that with the whole entire person's body and you can move it around whichever way you'd like okay anyways guys <clears throat> that's the tutorial peace and much love oh Robert I love you so much I wanna suck your dick Come here, big boy. Yeah. Yeah. You like that blowjob, baby? You like when I scrape my teeth against your wiener? Yeah. <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah. Lick that cunt, bitch. Lick that pussy. Lick it, lick it, lick it. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's, let's, let's put... Rob's head where ah oh, wait 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 <laughs> let's put Robbie's head where it really belongs <laughs> let's put it where it really belongs <laughs> and let's put his hand where he wishes it could be right there and right here oh yeah you like that Debbie you like that Debbie right oh yes Robert Robert, <laughs> put three fingers, three fingers. <laughs> <laughs>